Hey everyone, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. In this video, we're going to make this cute little hedgehog. As always, the finished size will depend on the yarn you're using. First, you'll need some chunky or super chunky plush yarn in two different colors. You'll also need a small amount of medium weight black yarn for the nose. Other items you'll need are a USG crochet hook or a hook to match the yarn you're using, as well as polyfill, safety eyes, scissors, a yarn needle, and I always recommend using stitch markers. The stitches you need to know beforehand are magic ring, single crochet, slip stitch, chain stitch, increase and decrease. We're going to start at the front of the nose and work back. In round one, we're doing four single crochet in a magic ring. I'll put my full tutorial for the magic ring at the top of the video. Pull the ring tight. And as always, I'll be using a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round two, we're doing one single crochet into each stitch from round one. This means we're doing four single crochet. Because this is the tip of the nose, I just like to insert my crochet hook and push the center backwards like so. In round three, we're going to start increasing. So we do a single crochet in the first stitch. and then two single crochet into the next stitch. This is also called an increase. And we do that again. So a single crochet, and then an increase. This will bring the total of round three up to six stitches. In round four, it's a single crochet and then an increase. And we do all of that three times in total, which will bring us up to nine stitches in the round. In round five, it's two single crochet, followed by an increase, and we do all of that three times to get 12. In round six, it's a single crochet and then an increase. We do all of that six times to get 18. In rounds 7 to 8, there's no increases, it's just 18 single crochet around. So that's two rounds of 18.
Now we can attach the eyes. The eyes go between rounds 5 and 6. So counting back from round 8, that's over here. And they're going to be 3 or 4 stitches apart. Once you're happy with the placement, you can attach the backs. In round 9, it's 2 single crochet, and then an increase. We do all of that 6 times to bring us up to 24. In round 10, it's 3 single crochet, followed by an increase. We do that 6 times to get 30. Now for rounds 11 to 17, so that's 7 rounds, we're just doing 30 single crochet around. And I'll finish off these 7 rounds off camera. In round 18 we're going to start decreasing. So we start with 3 single crochet, and then a decrease, and I like to do the invisible decrease like so. And we do all of that 6 times in total, so 3 single crochet followed by a decrease. This will bring us down to 24 stitches. In round 19, it's 2 single crochet, followed by a decrease. We do all of that 6 times to get 18. At this point we can add the stuffing. You can use the back of a crochet hook to get the stuffing all the way into the tip of the nose. In round 20, it's a single crochet, followed by a decrease, and we do all of that 6 times to get 12. You can add a bit more stuffing at this point if you like. In round 21, we're doing 6 decreases. This will bring us down from 12 stitches to 6. Then we can remove the stitch marker and cut the yarn leaving a little bit of a tail. To sew the hole closed, we're going to go through the front loops of the last 6 stitches.
Then pull on the yarn to close the hole. Insert the yarn into the piece into a few different places to secure it. Next we're going to do the ears. In round 1 it's 6 single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight. And then we're going to do a slip stitch back to the first stitch of the round. Close and cut the yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And you'll need to make two of these ears. Next we're going to make the legs. In round one, it's six single crochet in a magic ring. Now we're going to do two rounds of six single crochet around. So that's round two to three. Just keep folding the piece backwards as you're working. Then we can remove the stitch marker and close with a slip stitch. Cut the yarn leaving a tail for sewing. Then we can stuff the leg. I like to leave that tail from the magic ring out to help secure it onto the body later. And you'll need to make four of these legs. Next we're going to sew on the ears, and these go two rounds behind the eyes. Take one of the yarn tails and insert that two rounds behind the eyes. Then sew the ear in place using the other yarn tail. You can just grab one or two stitches on the head and at the base of the ear to secure it. Then bring it through to meet the first yarn tail. Tie these tails together and then weave them in. Now we can sew on the second ear exactly the same way. Now we can sew on the legs. I like to place the front of the legs about two rounds behind the ears, but this placement doesn't have to be exact. Use the tail from the magic ring and insert that where you want the leg to go. If you're happy with the placement, you can sew in place using the other tail. First, grab a stitch from the body
go up into a stitch of the leg and down into the next stitch of the leg. Then grab the next stitch on the body and repeat this all the way around. Then bring the yarn tail through to meet the first one. Tie these together and weave them in. Now we can do the second leg exactly the same way, just making sure it's symmetrical with the first. And I'll finish off this leg off camera. So the first two legs are in place. And now I'll do the second two a few rounds behind the first. And here are the completed legs. Next we're going to do the spines. And as you can see on this other hedgehog, the edge of the spines border the legs and the ears like so. I like to start the spines off behind the left ear. Insert your hook and pull through a loop. Now we're going to chain 4. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to do 3 single crochet back along the chain. Now skip the next stitch on the body and go into the next one. And we're going to repeat the same steps for each spine. So chain 4 and then start in the second chain from the hook and do 3 single crochet back along the chain. The placement of the spines doesn't have to be exact. So now I'm going behind the second ear. And we're going down towards that front leg. And we can go back towards the back leg. And then we go around the back of the body. So I've reached the back of the body here and we're going to go all the way around to meet up with the first spine. So I'll do that off camera. So I've gone all the way around and now I'm going to meet up to the base of the first spine. Now we're going to start working the spines one round behind the first round of spines. Basically we're doing a big spiral. As I said before, this doesn't have to be exact, just make sure there are no big gaps. So 
so you're going to continue this way until you reach the center. So I've completed all the spines and now we can close and cut the yarn. You can bring that ending tail back to meet the first one and tie them together. Lastly, we're going to do the nose. I like to start the nose at the center of the starting magic ring. And then go up one stitch. Repeat that a few times until the nose is thick enough. And there is the completed hedgehog. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.